Hello and welcome to PMZLounge.com. Today we are talking about Pareto charts. Now Pareto chart is also one of the seven basic quality tools also known as 7QC in certain texts. Now the person that you see on the screen right here he is Mr. Wilfredo Pareto who gave the principle the known as the Pareto principle also known as the 80-20 rule and how is the Pareto principle related to Pareto charts we are definitely going to talk about that as well in this video now before we get started a quick reminder if you are into reading articles rather than watching video then first link in the description is going to take you to a related article on Pareto chart that is on our official website pmclounge.com so do check that out first link in the description if you would rather read than watch a video second link in the description equally important it is the entire playlist of the 7 QC the 7 basic quality tools so do check that out entire playlist 7 videos very very helpful and third link in the description will take you to every single video that we have done till date on quality management knowledge area so check that out as well three important three important links in the description don't forget to check them out let's get started now before we get deeper into Pareto charts let me tell you that the other name for Pareto charts is Pareto diagram so if you are writing your PMP exam and you do realize that the correct answer to a question is Pareto charts but you don't find Pareto charts in the options all you see is Pareto diagrams then you should select Pareto diagrams because these two are one and the same thing so very important sometimes you are as a PMP aspirant you should know the different names of the same concept now with the help of Pareto charts you'll be able to rank problems this is very important based on the frequency of their occurrence so you are ranking problems based on the frequency based on the number of times the problem occurs so not based on the difficulty level not based on the scope of the problem it is purely based on how many times a certain problem occurs and that's how you rank all the problems based on their frequency so this is going to help you determine the order in which to resolve them so that's the whole idea the problem which is occurring too often is the problem that you should resolve first that's the whole idea of Pareto charts so basically Pareto charts will help you figure out which problems need your attention right away and which problems can wait so the problems that are occurring more often than not they should get your attention right away and the problems which are you know far far you know far-fetched problem you don't see them too often then those kind of problems can actually wait that's the whole idea of Pareto charts it will be more clear when we look into a example an example of Pareto charts let's look into that before we reach there a quick reminder if you are starting your journey on project management head over to pmclounge.com slash pm101 a free one and a half hour training session on the basics of project management very very helpful if you are starting your preparation on PMP or preparing for a P project manager job interview or let's say you just want to know what project management is all about project management one-on-one -on -one is your gateway to the world of project management all right so quickly let's look into an example Pareto chart so this is an example Pareto chart the bars here all these bars they basically show the number of issues how many issues are here 12 issues and then at the bottom these are the categories so in the requirements category you have 12 issues in the design category you have nine issues in the user reported category you have six issues so I hope you get it what bars represent and how they are divided into categories now you have a line here as well this line is basically telling you the cumulative percentage that's all and you have the percentages that are listed here and these are of course to your left these are the number of issues to the bottom these are the categories of issues you know so that is how you draw a Pareto chart 
Now the 80-20 rule. So you might have heard of the 80-20 rule. This is also known as the Pareto principle that we talked about earlier. So this basically says 80% of the defects are usually caused by 20% of the causes. So only 20% of the causes are causing 80% of the defects. That's the Pareto principle. So Pareto charts are actually based on the same concept and we use the Pareto charts what we did in the previous slide was we plot out the frequency of defects and we sorted them in descending order that's what we did and when we did so we realized that the most number of defects were from the requirements category right so gathering requirements should be improved on that is an improvement area if we want to make sure that our next project does not have as many issues as the previous project we will immediately start working on improving the requirements gathering area the requirements gathering phase right so we need to make sure how we can minimize the issues that are caused in the requirements gathering phase so that the overall total number of issues in our project goes down so that's how 80 20 rule works we know 80 percent of the issues roughly 80 percent of the issues not really were caused by 20 percent of the causes the cause was requirements gathering phase and we need to fix our requirements gathering phase as signified by the pareto chart so based on that we make sure that our requirements gathering phase is improved on so that is all that we had in this video do hit the like button if you enjoyed it and learned about pareto charts don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new videos and as always do check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource thank you and have a nice day